That's it. Ah! I'm going to scream. You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters in the KEXP studios with Jay Som, a big band here today. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having us again. Oh, so excited to hear these new songs. The album Anako, so amazing. And uh, why don't you just start us off with a couple? Yeah, of course.
That's Jay Som live on KEXP playing songs from the new album Anako tonight. Going to be at Numos here in Seattle. Lots of tuning going on now. <laughs> tune, tune, tune. That first one sounded great. That's the title track, right? It is. It's called Anako. Now we're going to play Peace Out. Jason live on KEXP playing tonight here in Seattle at Numos. Songs from the new album Anico, just recently released on Polyvinyl Records. Melina, you want to introduce this great band? I love seeing some familiar faces. And uh, Annie, 
over here behind me. I just played the new Chastity Belt mm -hmm. record mm -hmm. right before this set. And I know yeah. you've had a connection with that. Can you introduce this amazing band? Of course, yeah. We have a we have a bigger crew now. That's Oliver. You already know Oliver. Yeah. Right there. And then Annie over there, she's gonna play violin in a second. And then Maxine, she's playing keys and guitar. And then Dylan playing bass over there. And then Zach, drums. And then me, Melina. And you've known Zach a while. Zach. Yes. <laughs> Since we were like fifteen. So sure. Yeah, high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last record Everybody Works was super well received, and now everyone is freaking out about Anika. We can't stop playing it here at KEXP. <laughs> but you had some great success and a really great response with Everybody Works. When you sat down to write this new record, were you at all intimidated about following up your last record? You know, to be honest, I was pretty intimidated. I think I was getting in my head a lot about like all the new people that are listening like I think just the listeners out there like are just growing um, and I feel like I wanted to make something really experimental for some reason so the first year of like the demoing for the record was super weird and I was kind of sad but as fun was it <laughs> but uh not anymore I think uh, there was a moment where I really had like a the feeling of wanting to just do music that I loved in that moment. So yeah. you you produce other people and you've worked in a studio, but you choose to work at home. You like to produce yourself. And mm -hmm. last time you were here, you were living in the Bay Area, which is where you grew up, and you talked about your home mm -hmm. studio and you said that your bed took up more, more room than anything else in that room. And I know you've moved to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you've been living there the past couple of years. Does your recording setup look more or less the same, or did you give yourself a little bit more space? No, it's actually smaller than before. <laughs> yeah, Oliver's everyone knows. Laughing. Me, Oliver, and Maxine live together, so they know what's going on. Um, it's like half the size of my other room from Oakland. Um, I got more like gear in it now, and I have like a smaller bed because I have to make sacrifices for like gear and stuff. So. Suffer for your art. Yeah. Well, in this tiny Torture. little space, it sounds like you invited um, more people mm -hmm. to collaborate with you on this record. Can you tell me about some of the people? I know Annie. Yeah, Annie plays violin. Oliver has some guitar parts, too. Yeah, he's got a big solo on there. Uh, Zach plays on a lot of songs for drums. Yeah. And then Leticia from Vagabond. She sings on, like, two songs in... Boy Scouts, Taylor from Boy Scouts, who we're touring with right now. She sings on a lot of songs. That's amazing. I um, love all of those artists. Is this part of a community that you've built since you've been down in California? I mean, what's that move been like for you? It's been great. I mean, it's been about, like, two years now living in L.A. It feels good to, like, be sort of established, in a sense, and then move to a place where everyone has, like, a similar work ethic. Um, and I've met a lot of really amazing people that I've like just either collaborated with or just hung out through music and producing. Yeah. Tell me about the new record. It's titled Aniko. What does that mean to you? Well, it translates to my child in Tagalog, which is a Filipino language. Uh, and I think when I was naming the record, I was kind of stumped on like whether or not I should name it after like a lyric or a song title, but. I ended up looking at like text messages with my mom and she always greets me like, hi Anako, like I love you Anako. Like it's really endearing and kind of puts like a warm blanket over the record. I don't know. What was her reaction when you named the album Anako? Oh, she loved it. She was like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, good job. You did a good job naming it. That. <laughs> Well, you're her, you're her little Aniko, and yeah. I mean, musicians quite often talk about how their music or an album is mm -hmm. like their little child, and I mean, does that feel like that to you? Yeah, you're kind of birthing it out um, into the world. You don't know what's going to happen to to it. Um, it changes throughout time. Yeah. Your sound is a bit bigger um, on this new record. Were you... T trying new things out. You know, I imagine you've learned a lot over the last couple of years. And as I said, you really love producing. You've talked before to me about how you're just always wanting to learn more and try yeah. new things. And so what, what did you try on this new album that was new for you or fun, exciting? 
Yeah, it was a really fun record, I think, because I I wanted it to be a little more refined. I feel like before, I'd just like, record things, and I'd be like, whatever, that's fine. Let's get the... It's like punk. It's like in the moment, like all these takes. They're super raw. But now, for this record, I was pretty intentional about making each take like pretty solid and um, made sure I was like happy with everything. And I spent more time on this record leading up to the final mixing and all that. When you work with other artists like Chastity Belt, I know you helped Sasami as well. And maybe I should ask Annie this, but what, what, what kind of a role do you feel like you take? What, what kind of a producer are you? Mm. I don't know if I really vibe with the term producer just yet. I feel like I just like helping people. Um, and I think that's one of my favorite parts about working with like production is that you could help people with their vision and like help them achieve something that they can't themselves, you know? Yeah. You've toured quite a bit um, since your last record. You've got a couple of great records under your belt or more than that already. And over the past couple of years, what have you learned, you know, that sort of helps you um, going forward now, both artistically, but also for your mental health, taking care of yourself? What kind of things have um, come up for you in the past couple of years? Do you feel more grounded and centered now? Oh yeah, I feel like I grew up a million years, the past three years. Uh, <laughs> I think just having a lot of me time is really important. I think just um, getting to know yourself better and loving yourself in ways that you haven't before. Um, I think we get so caught up in like pleasing others around us that we don't, we, we kind of forget to think about ourselves. So that's been really important lately. Is that difficult living in Los Angeles? Because there is so much going on there. You could just be out seeing music. Uh, you've met a lot of new people every day. I heard you actually kind of took off for a few days to get in the headspace to write this record. Yeah. Do you have to like be intentional about carving out that time for yourself? Yeah, yeah, very intentional. I think, um, like you said, it's like really distracting. There's so much to do there. There are like a bunch of shows and like friends and family are always passing through. And um, I just wanted to have a week of just my own time to focus on the music without like the sound of cars and like people yelling. So. And you went to Joshua Tree. Yeah. Like um, you too. You're not. Yeah. You're not really a Los Angeleno until you've made the trek to Joshua Tree to find yourself. Exactly, Cheryl. <laughs> and the result of that is Anico. I found myself. We're so happy. I just, I just keep getting mature. Like I keep growing up. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad you found your way up here. We're always so happy to have JSOM live here in the KEXB studios. Thank you. You're playing tonight at Numo's here in oh, yeah. Seattle. And how about a couple more songs? Of course. We're going to play a super bike. I'm going to tune my guitar first. This is the first song that we heard. And uh, I actually heard it in May at a radio conference. Oh. Um, and I don't think anyone had heard it yet. And I wasn't sure that it was you, but they play it and then everybody has to hold up these cards from one to 10 and say how much they like it. And I'm like, for, yeah, you know, does anyone know that's what happens at radio <laughs> conferences? Whoa. Maybe I'm not supposed to tell. That might actually be a little radio secret. Exposed, radio yeah. exposed. But I shot up a 10 card, like four notes in, and uh, I was bitten by the bug, a super bike. And it took me like a good 60 seconds to say, oh my gosh, I think this is some. <laughs> Thank you, I just knew I loved how it sounds, and listeners are loving it as well. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. Now I distracted yeah. you from your tuning. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, so beautiful. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, thank you so much. So great to see you. Thank you for having us. Such we a love KXB. Wow, we love you right back. Yeah. A beautiful new album, Aniko from JSOM. The band playing tonight at Numos here in Seattle. Catch them tomorrow night if you're in Portland at the Doug Fur Lounge. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a great time on tour. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're listening to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.